I have made so many videos already about Chapley, you know, and Chapley is one of the coins that I really love. I stopped buying Chapley um, because I saw how it, you know, break structure. I, I took out my profit already, yeah, and I drew my FIP, it gave me this zone, so I was waiting for price to get to this zone, you know, this um, area, yeah, and price get the price break, so the next area I'm looking at is this zone. Now, uh, must price get there? No, of course, price must not get there, but there are some vectors here that haven't yet been recovered that they can come and cover this vector, at least half of this vector. So if I see a quick candle here, you know, then I'm gonna be buying um, cheaply, no doubt. Okay, but if I buy cheaply, let's say um, this is it. Like the um, this movement to the upside um, has happened, and we want to see an area where we can, you know, um, retrace from. Like we can retrace from. So haven't um, like taking the fib from this zone, from you know down here to the upside. You can see clearly. What I'm seeing, this zone was always gonna be the zone that price should respect, but price didn't hold that zone, price break, and you know, invalidated our move break structure. So I didn't want it to look at this coin again, you know. So what I want to see is for price to actually um, respect structure based on this move down here. So um, if price is not able to respect structure, then I'm not able to go. I'm not gonna be uh, focusing my uh, attention on cheaply. But uh, looking at these zones here, I wanna see price, you know, keep trading in this zone because there's a lot of liquidity here. But I wanna also pull in, um, bring in my, you know, volume profile to give me a clue on where we are right now. So I, you know, like, okay, maybe I can start looking at opportunities to buy. I can even pull my volume profile from the, uh, you know, from this bottom here, you know, so give me a more, um, view on what um, I should be expecting here. And boom, look at this, you know. We can expect price to come right down here, again, still towards this area here, yeah, where the vector candle was formed, half of this vector candle for Chapley, or maybe we can be, you can you know, recover half of this other vector here, yeah, you know. And if that's the case, then I think um, we are good to go. Like, it just depends on how you, you are drawing the volume profile. But if I draw the volume profile, you know, in this way, if I draw it this way, if I pluck it this way, then I wanna get more you know, you can see I'm at the value area low right now, you know, heading towards the POC, you know, if price break above the POC, then you're gonna go to the value area high, and if it breaks above the value area high, then it's gonna be in my range again. So that's what I'm looking for on Chaplin.